Hey, Miss High and Mighty. And we're live. Welcome back to part 48 of Free Roam Fridays, where we free roam with Arthur in chapter 2. Arthur has a lot of odds and ends to show you today, B-roll from other videos and other footage that didn't make it into previous Free Roam Fridays from the last couple weeks. He will attempt to stitch them all together into an epic tale of adventure, revenge, romance, and ancient mysteries. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Gentlemen, you gonna freeze your acorns off dressed like that. Hello? Karen! Hey, Arthur. Who am I kidding? We are pretty much gonna look at more horses. Let's get started. You done good, girl. I wasn't joking about more horses. Arthur found a Blood Bay Mustang at Blackbone Forest. Never really seen a Mustang this far north. Easy. Here's the map. Mustangs usually stay in the heartlands during story mode. This one is a long ways from home. Hope he's okay. Yep. Recall our search for the missing red chestnut Arabian in a previous episode. Great news, that horse is back. There he is, right where he is supposed to be. However, this horse will spawn as both male and female, and Arthur really can't tell from this distance. And here is our location, almost directly west of the O of Oangila. The horse is right about here. Have fun, watch out for cougars. Yep. We don't need one right now, but Arthur is very happy the Red Chestnut Arabian is back where they are supposed to be. All is well in the world. Let's move on. Back home at camp, Arthur needed to take a look at Brown Jack and Branwen for another video. Here's Brown Jack, looking immense and almost prehistoric. Look at that giant muscular neck. and the Count with a much more streamlined, elegant neck. Also note the pink hooves. I bet those are hard to keep clean. <laughs> and then here's Kieran's Branwen, a very pretty coat and also very friendly, much like her dad. <laughs> Whoa. Let's move on. We 
we fast traveled to a pity. There is a loot box around here. We have already collected the items, however it may have respawned. No joy. First time you encounter this loot box, it will have a dynamite arrow recipe and a large jewelry bag. Arthur was hoping for another one of those jewelry bags. And here is our location. Moving on. Minding our own business on the way to Cortora Springs, we ran into a pack of sleepy wolves who only wanted to say hello. A three-star timber wolf. That's rare. I have found the timber wolves usually have the worst coats. What have you been slaughtering? Ain't nothing to worry about. Then we have a nice view of the hot springs and a pink sunset. Racing down the tracks on the way to the trappers, Arthur always says hello to these people at Wallace Station. Adio. What can they be thinking, seeing a wild man on a big horse running down the train tracks, risking his life and the horses? What they do not realize is Arthur always makes a save before he gets on the train tracks, every time. Arthur doesn't take any chances when it comes to horses. And then back at the trappers, we can get rid of some of these supplies we don't need and free up some satchel space, and also get a little extra cash. And also dump that three-star wolf pelt. I wish the trapper had a wolf saddle. I wonder what that would look like. Arthur will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the new merch store, my second gaming channel, and our Discord. <laughs> Moving on. Rinkneck Creek, in case you didn't know, is a great location for skunks and possums. Here is a possum.
And here is your location. Then, as long as we're in the neighborhood, we might as well explore Hillhaven Ranch. There was some discussion in the comments and chat that the homeowner here has a Carcano when Arthur and Uncle visit him in Chapter 4. Arthur wanted to see if he has one in Chapter 2. Here is our location, Hillhaven Ranch, south of Ringnet Creek and northeast of the K of Maddock Pond. Let's go say hello. Okay, enough. It's time for you to leave. Good evening, sir. We heard you have a Carcano. We just want to look at it. We were thinking of buying one and wondered if you had a review. Lots of hostels at this ranch, including the dog. Arthur isn't interested in killing any dogs. I wonder what they are protecting. Oh, no. Anybody help me? Nothing in here. Here is a carbine repeater. I assume he upgrades to the Carcano in Chapter 4. Random supplies, of course. Note this fancy cross above the fireplace. I bet they got that in Saint Denis. And this is a nice looking farmhouse. Very homey. No joy on the Carcano. You're fine. Help me! <coughs> he does have a unique hat, however. We might as well take that, so the night isn't a total bust. Enjoy the peace! We fly! And then making a quick exit, we ran straight into a Lemoyne Raiders ambush. Bad luck. Let's show them how free men do some killing.
as in bad luck for those jokers, target practice for Arthur. Good times. I wonder if they have anything of value. And here's the rodeo hat from Hillhaven Ranch, which Arthur wanted to show you before we were so rudely interrupted. Good, my girl. And finally, across from Ringneck Creek is another loot box. Look for this stone fence and this convenient stone sculpture. <laughs> Little bit of cash for Arthur. And here is your location, Eris Field, under the M of Lemoyne. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second gaming channel where I play every other video game I enjoy that is not Red Dead Redemption 2. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. That was a long night, but hey, free hat. I know you guys like hats. On Fridays, we free roam. I'll see you in part 49. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Howdy, y'all. Stay with Super Antonio. We ain't done yet.